Hi, welcome back again to Cook with Granny Nancy. And as you know, I'm Granny. Have I told you the story about how I got this name? I have a granddaughter. Actually, I have a granddaughter and two grandsons. And when I first had my granddaughter, I just didn't want to be called Grandma. So I told her, call me Granny. I thought it was cute. Who would guess? Granny? You know, usually everybody goes by Grandma. But anyway, so I'm Granny, and this is my kitchen, and I'm going to show you another meal to cook today. Today, I'm going to show you how to cook disappearing wings. I call them disappearing wings because when I cook them, they disappear so quick, my family just gobbles them up. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I have some chicken down here in the refrigerator, and I'm just going to make a small amount for you today. Ooh, too much stuff in there. Okay, so here's the chicken, and then all the ingredients that I'm going to need, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make some sautéed green beans with that. And here's the green beans. They've already been washed, and they've already been kind of cut up. I love to make them all share. I'm just really funny about my food. I want everything to look good. Okay. And then you're going to need some lemon, and you're going to need some soy sauce, okay, and you will need some sugar. This is, let's get what we'll need for the marinade. It's a really simple recipe, and that's what I want to do. I want to show you easy, simple, healthy things. Here's the soy sauce, here's your lemon, and the sugar, and that's all we're going to put. It doesn't get any better than that. How easy is that? Three items to make the marinade. Okay, get yourself a measuring glass, and, or get yourself a coffee cup, a glass, you can take a handful, whatever you want. The main thing is that you want equal amounts. However much soy sauce you put in, then you're going to want to put in that same amount of lemon and that same amount of sugar. Make sense? Okay, so here we go. We're going to pour, we'll go ahead and go with a cup. Okay, so one cup of soy sauce. Put that in your bowl. Okay. And uh, the same thing with the lemon, one cup of lemon. Again, just same, same equal amounts of everything. Okay, there's your lemon juice, one cup. There you go. And you're gonna want this to marinate at least 24 hours. The longer the better, you know? If something comes up and you get busy and you have it marinating and you can't, um, oh shoot. Okay, and then one cup of sugar. And usually, actually, I kinda messed up this time, but, I mean, I didn't mess up, but, Usually I measure the sugar first so it doesn't stick to the gosh darn <laughs> measuring cup. Now that everything else has been in there, it's going to probably stick. Oh, the timer's going off. Hold on one second. Okay. And what that is, I went ahead and cooked some of the chicken wings and marinated them early so I could take them out and show them to you. Okay. So now you'll add your sugar to the soy sauce and to the lemon juice. Okay, I'm going to try not to scrape too much. My husband always tells me that I'm the loudest cooker because I'm and so I'm going to try to go a little bit easy on that. Okay, let's be done with that. Let's see. Okay, there you go. Now, what you want to do is kind of stir it up, get that sugar. The, the soy sauce and the lemon juice will cut the sugar right in half. Okay, so there you have your marinade. Okay, and you got the sugar all stirred in. Okay, and I have these tongs set aside here. So then you're going to just take your chicken and put it in the marinade. Let it marinate overnight. Now, a lot of times what I do is I go ahead and I put this in a plastic Ziploc bag so that during the, during the marinating process, I can go in there and just kind of flip the bag over. So I, I think I showed that to you earlier. So there you go. So we're going to go ahead and we got that in there and we'll put that aside. Okay. So now the thing is I want you to see how to make these green beans. These are going to be the best green beans you ever had in your life. I'm going to saute them with some olive oil and some of Granny Nancy's special seasoning salt. Okay, this seasoning salt has a couple different items in it. Uh, red pepper, salt, pepper, garlic, a couple different things. I won't tell you the, the whole recipe because I'd like you to go to my website. Don't forget to go to my website, grannynancyskitchen.com, and email me anything that you might miss out on, okay? So here's what we're going to do. Get your olive oil. Get your frying pan ready. Get it on, I don't know, say about a medium fire. Put your olive oil, I cook with a lot of olive oil, okay? There you have a little bit of olive oil. I have about that much. I don't know if you can see that, but about that much olive oil. And I kind of get that going on the fire. And then what I do, and this is what I like to do, is I like to season the olive oil, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put Granny Nancy's seasoning salt in there and just get it going. There you have it, salt on there. What I like to do is just kind of get my finger a little bit wet. Ooh, just the bar is ready. 
Okay, and so that's what you want to do. You want to make sure it's nice and hot. The seasoning salt is in there. The oil seasoning. Okay. And um, now you put your green beans in. These are the best green beans. Always put your green beans like this. You gotta just saute them. So you have fresh green beans. They're not frozen. I don't ever cook with frozen food or box food. So try to do the same. It's a lot better. Okay. And um, so there you have your green beans. Just put the oil and seasoning. Put them in here. Put your top on so that the steam doesn't escape. That way they're kind of steaming and sauteing at the same time. So let's keep those right there. Okay, now so now this is just a little meal, but what you might want to do is I'm cooking the marinated chicken. It's called the disappearing chicken. And then I'm cooking the green beans. Now what you might want to do is you might want to add a salad to that. Or um, watch one of my other shows. Or go to my website, grannynancykitchen.com. I also have another book out that um, has lots of recipes, the top ten. And so I have a lot of different recipes. I want to show you all my holiday meals, my fast meals, slow meals, pre-meals, appetizer, after we eat meals, everything. I want you to have access to all kinds of different fast recipes put together and um, healthy things. Let's move them around a little. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, there's no better green beans than this. They're fresh. You're not gonna, a lot of people boil, they put water in their vegetables and they boil them and it just boils out all the taste, all the flavor. All the, oh, and don't forget about Granny Nancy's hot. Uh, what do you call these? <laughs> the director would like to slap me sometimes. Pot holders. <laughs> okay, um, here we go. Let's take this out. It is done, done, done. Look at that. Those are the wings. That's how they finish. And I'm telling you, your family will go crazy. They are so juicy. Again, the reason why they call them uh, disappearing wings. So look at those. They're completely done. And again, another way of Granny Nancy's cooking. Everybody else like would normally cook this for 45 minutes on 350. I'm telling you, the best chicken, the best meat is cooked at a higher temperature for a lower amount of minutes, okay? So there's the green, that, there's the disappearing wings, that's how they look when they're done, okay? And then greens, green beans, I'm thinking green, okay, green beans, one more time. These green beans are done. Oh my goodness. I have, I'm telling you, and the key to it is the Granny Nancy seasoning salt, or any seasoning salt you wanna use. So if you don't have Granny Nancy seasoning salt, then go ahead and use, you know, whatever seasoning salt you typically use, or, Use some black pepper, some white salt, and some red pepper. Just, just season them, okay? And then here I have, let me make a plate so you can see how good this is. You're going to love it, okay? I will, um, why did I take this plate over here? <laughs> the greens are over here. Hold on a second. Okay, so here we have some, you know, and I like to set it up. I don't know why I'm so funny about the way I serve food, but um, it just looks good. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Put this back on here and put a couple pieces of chicken on there. And of course, if you want, you can have your salad on the side. I'm going to have lots of shows showing how to make salad. So there you have it. Okay. Look at that plate. LBB. Little but beautiful. Okay. And I know you're not here to taste it for me, so let me go ahead and take a small bite of one of these. Mmm. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining Grand Nancy's Kitchen again. And may God smile on your lips so your belly can laugh.